Former Williamson County Sheriff Robert Chody and his attorney left court Monday morning with the expectation that there will be a felony trial. They also left with this document, a motion that provided a big pretrial win for them and a loss for prosecutors. Well, it's very big. I mean, they, they can't proceed on the theory that they're saying they want to proceed on in the light of that ruling unless they can figure out some way around it. Is this a put up or shut up moment? Yeah. This body cam video clip of the in custody death of Javier Ambler is the only video made public since the incident in March of 2019. <laughs> Several more police recordings were made that night, but prosecutors don't have video from a live PD production crew. They were riding with Williamson County deputies when Ambler was chased for a minor traffic violation. The live PD video was later erased, which was allowed under the contract that the company had with Williamson County. The loss of the video is the basis for the indictment against Chody and Williamson County Attorney Jason Asor. Prosecutors claimed they should have seized it, and failing to do so was a criminal act, despite a federal law that prevents taking property from journalists and media outlets without a court order. Chody Monday morning denied any wrongdoing. Sheriff, did you tell anyone to destroy that videotape? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Did you send an email saying that? Absolutely. No, I did not. Prosecutors Monday argued that the federal law does not apply to their case and the live PD crew technically abandoned the video at the scene when they briefly left their equipment in a county patrol car. Judge Karen Sage will allow prosecutors to prove that claim during the trial, but in jury selection and even in opening arguments, prosecutors will not be allowed to bring it up. They can't even imply that Chody or Nessor had any legal authority or an obligation to seize the equipment at the time without a court order. It's the district attorney's office obligation to try to get it, and they botched it. Uh, they, you know, first-year law student would have known how to send a subpoena. They didn't. 